B2W estimate side of things, we you know enjoy using it because it's flexible. There's probably around 300 or so estimates generated per year for our groups. There's templates if you can manage it properly um, with preset crews, sometimes preset productions. So it's good to have template features set up in there. There's probably a few people to you know 10 people working on estimates at any given time. So they're able to work in there concurrently. We just are able to upload the EBS file off the state's website and if there's an addendum similarly and then push that into B2W estimate and then easily enough just export that once we you know, get item pricing finalized. On a change order feature, if you have different multiple work orders, a change order feature would help close out certain work orders and help price future ones up so you can we can always work inside of the same B2W estimate. The ability to transfer some of the data quickly, copy paste to a spreadsheet um, for quick analysis or to just share the information with somebody that doesn't have B2W estimate, that's also good to, to just do quickly on the fly. On the market analysis side, there's you know tools and um, reports that we run, you know, win-loss, um, we can see what our you know, delta was from the second bidder, how much money was left on the table, vice versa. Um, sort that by work type, areas, owners. When we get a job, we'll take the bid and you know, break it down to how we want to track it. Sometimes we might combine things, you know, into, you know, take it from four separate bid items and just say, hey, it makes more sense just to track it as one. And then once we do that, it's a direct upload into track. And, Go from there. Crossing over and getting information from estimate into track, it's the push of a button to get things over to where we want it. It saves a lot of manual entry. I've been on the other end of it before where you have softwares, whether it be accounting and field data that don't talk or estimating and field stuff that don't talk. And it creates a lot of data entry and manual entry on the back end. I focus primarily on labor hours. I kind of got taught years ago, if your labor's going good, the job's probably going good. We record equipment hours, codes and hours and quantities. You can copy the, you know, the when you open up the box in order to add new employees or new phases and things like that, it's all right there. It's easy to search. Foreman submits it, superintendent does an initial review, project manager will do a final review and approval. The most effective thing I find with track is knowing your where your productions go. You get nice output of you know performance versus budget, and then can make decisions in the field based on that. I think it's absolutely critical. If you don't know your costs, you don't know anything. You, know, you can't make decisions. So <laughs> we're running a business. So you need to know if if something's going bad, you want to know it early on, and if something's going good, you want to you know do the same thing. So you'd be able to say, hey, we're doing a little better than we thought here. You set goals for your crew based off of it with what your budget is versus you know what you're striving for, then everybody kind of can see day to day. And I think people inherently want to do good. So if they know what defines doing good, they're going to try for it. You know, they're going to work a little harder.